Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and uh, to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And um, yesterday, the message I was saying about like um, that we are all doing our best to sort of like float serenely above the water, you know, holding everything kind of together and you know doing all of the things that um we need to do to try and manage our energy and to ground and to um feel centered and grounded and living that heart-based life and then um the card that came through was treasure island the turtle which is mother gaia gaia and i didn't realize i think it was um earth day recently maybe it was yesterday was it i don't know anyway so i just thought yeah again how perfect is it that we always get these messages and then the synchronicities sort of come through more and more and more and we see some more and more and more connections that just happen so um because of that and because of the beautiful synchronicities that always happen i want to ask the question is what does the universe, what does the cosmic heart, the heart, cosmic heartbeat of this amazing, what can I say? I don't know, this amazing existence, like uh, this soul existence we have. What do they want to tell us about these connections? Um, and this is for the twin flame energy. And look at that, it is chop wood. <laughs> Um, that basically this is how we master our energy is to keep clearing up energies that we don't need you know all the time we're being told just brush brush away all the things that we don't need and just move more and more and more and more and more into um, into wherever you're taken basically <laughs> Just keep being open. Just keep saying, I'm ready to be taken wherever I need to be to live my highest good. I'm ready for magic to happen. I'm ready to live with an open heart. I'm ready to um, experience the unexpected. I'm ready to trust that everywhere that I'm being taken is for my highest good. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And one of those brilliant mantras, which is a really powerful mantra, is... Um, uh, is like, oh, it's gone out of my head. <laughs> I'm ready, but I don't know how, right? I'm ready, but I don't know how, so show me the way. And just to say, you know, just be open. So what do we need to be focusing on at the moment? Um, because as this soul group, what do we need to be, f you wouldn't believe what it is. <laughs> we have been told to do exactly what I was just saying. <laughs> to chop wood again so does it feel like a bit like that we are in this phase that we just keep you know basically chopping wood chopping wood chopping wood keep going through it keep going through it because there is that thing about but you know ultimately we are physical and we want to see results and we want to see um the basically the outcome oh that's what i'm going to ask what is the outcome for us with our twins what is the outcome for us with our twins look we are moving between the worlds we are moving into a new energy into out of the darkness into the light <laughs> into technicolor out of the shade into the light and it's number three which is the trinity which is the third energy so we are between worlds where there is you know this you know this constant sort of cycle of this is a time to explore the new energy between you and another it's not a moment for certainty but rather for discovery and curiosity you don't yet know if this will last forever so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you this relationship is meant to educate you about yourself what do you need what do you like or dislike what values are important to you you're in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. <laughs> well, there we go. Not to be hurried, this phase of like growing into the, you know, growing and coming into the full light of our soul and 
all of those, you know, everything that we get told all the time. And um, it's just really interesting to um, see essentially how how this is all going to happen basically <laughs> how this is all going to happen so um let us have one more let's just have one more card about what we need and it is this why do you need that look at that it's saying why because you need to listen to your intuition right you need to just listen and basically the message was really clear it was saying just keep doing what you're doing keep doing those things to clean your energy keep doing those things that your intuition is telling you to do keep you know the master that uh the brilliant phrase about the master goes and the you know he goes and picks up water and then he becomes the master and he still goes and picks up water <laughs> so you know we just have to keep focusing on our energies so um with that i'm going to ask native spirit for some guidance to say okay what do we need to know because um yeah we always need some help from native spirit we always need to know how 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 can we be helped what do we need to do how can we be helped so the message is this and it is the smudging ceremony so which is this the guidance is here we go let go of the past purify detox release whatever doesn't serve or support you in your life cleanse your body and environment by doing space clearing and clutter clearing let go of the old discarded and unused to make way for new energy and new beginnings eat lightly drink lots of fresh water and consume food with strong life force um, using the smoke of incense or sage, cup your hands into the smoke and wash over the top of your head, saying that I think clearly. Then cup the smoke to your eyes, saying that I may see the truth. Next, bring the smoke to your throat area, saying that I may speak the truth. Finally, waft the smoke to your heart area, saying that my heart may be open. Right, so that was on page um, 79. So I am going to read letter 79 from Diver the Divine Love Letter Books. So again, all channelings between people's twins and their higher selves. So 79, my love, my twin spirit, you are the beauty that lies dormant within me, but you are awakening my soul. Like a butterfly, I feel the flutter inside. It's like a feather is tickling me and wanting me to wake up. I feel it getting stronger and I sense you around me more and more. It's a strange and lovely sensation that I'm getting more and more addicted to. Every day that passes, I'm getting more addicted to you. I can't get you out of my head. I can't get you out of my heart. You're everywhere. I love you. You are my angel. Okay. So book two, 79, let's have a look. 79 is, it's not the right time yet. I don't feel ready. I don't feel good about myself and I don't want to put that onto her. She deserves the best version of me. She deserves me to be able to sweep her off her feet. And if I'm not feeling great and feeling like I can't make her happy because of how I'm feeling at the moment, then I'm not going to put that on her. I want to dazzle her, not dull her shine. That's the reason. It's not that I don't love her, because I do very much. And we don't want to dull anyone's shine, right? We have to be in the right place for ourselves. So all will become more and more clear. It's like opening up a door into a magical portal. Once you've opened it a bit and the light starts to creep in, there's no way of escaping what happens. Eventually, your whole room, your whole being will be filled with our light. You will just know when we meet. It will be like an overwhelming feeling of coming home and finding an oasis in the desert, of putting on a really comfy pair of your favourite pyjamas. Trust that our light will guide us to each other. Keep following your light. 
Keep opening your door to our soul by keeping your heart open and free. So the one thing that I uh, really notice about all those messages is basically saying about keeping your heart open. And um, all of them had that theme. So today it's all about saying keeping your heart open, keeping um, keeping ourselves open to the magic, basically. That is the message for today. So I really hope that helps. Um, if you would like to have a healing reading channeling or to get these books, an amazing way to keep in that heart open space and to shift your vibration, then I would be very happy to do um, a service for you. All right, then all details are in the link below. I'll be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright and stay switched onto the light. See you. Bye.